Certified Most Accurate Forecast. We had some robust snow showers developed during the overnight hours, and most of us waking up to a dusting to a new covering of snow for the region. Satellite and radar, this is the last 12 hours of imagery, so it'll give through the overnight uh, those snow showers that were coming in. Northern Kentucky as well for the morning hours during the commute especially. Most of it is sliding off to the east, and notice we're not seeing a lot of development, additional development now into southern parts of Indiana. So we should have the current snow showers start to wane some for most of our afternoon hours, kind of tapering off into some flurries. And at this point, we are seeing our easternmost counties, Highland over to Adams County, a couple more snow showers persisting within the 275 loop. Not a lot popping up on the radar, but you still have those flurries flying out there. You can see a little bit of blue returns on the radar from Coleraine to Finneytown, uh, northern parts of Campbell County through Fort Thomas, heading toward Mount Washington and Claire, eastern parts of Hamilton County. So we do have some pockets out there. This is not going to cause any additional uh, accumulation or problems on roadways, but some flurries continue to fly across the region. Most of our afternoon quiet stay down, then we may see a few more snow showers return later this evening. The clouds are in place on the city cam shot. Those flurries are moving sideways and across the region. They'll persist for the rest of our day. We're at 30 degrees right now. We'll struggle to get right at to above the freezing mark for the afternoon, but the wind chill is going to stay in the 20s. So it's going to stay rather cold out there. The current wind chill is 20 degrees, a west wind at 13 miles an hour. Temperatures for the region all sub freezing just below the freezing mark for the region. 30, 31 degrees. We'll edge that up a couple of degrees through our afternoon underneath that cloud cover satellite and radar showing we're not the only ones with these snow showers. They're across the Great Lakes as well. Some of the higher elevations of the Appalachians producing some accumulation just off to our east, but we'll persist today. Light flurries for the afternoon. Snow showers return for the evening and notice the general flow, a westerly flow with cold air in place. We're going to keep this weather pattern around into our weekend. So although I don't think we see as much activity tomorrow, We'll still have the potential for flurries around on Saturday, and then we'll likely get back at it with snow showers on Sunday, and that could lead to another covering, maybe half of an inch of snow. So we'll be a little bit active as we end our weekend. Here's our future cast for the rest of the day today. A few of those pockets may be briefly heavy at times through our afternoon, but most of it will be light flurries through four or five o'clock. As we head into our later evening hours, probably after the evening commute, Past six and seven, we may see a few more of those snow showers that are slightly more robust and could give a quick covering on roadways. And as those temperatures drop off again this evening into the upper 20s, we could get some icy spots on bridges and overpasses, especially in raised roads. So keep that in mind, a potential again later on this evening for some slick spots on roads. I don't think we have a lot of activity tomorrow morning if you're heading out for early on Saturday. Most of the afternoon, it would be very light flurries under clouds during the afternoon for Saturday as well. 34 degrees for an afternoon high today. Temperatures edging up just a few more degrees. Some of those evening snow showers. Then most of our overnight should be pretty quiet, but still cold at 25. Tomorrow afternoon, 38. Some flurries flying on Saturday. No accumulation expected. By Sunday, we're back at it with snow showers, especially afternoon and evening. A quick covering, a quick half inch of snow possible may linger to start our overnight and then early into Monday morning. Monday afternoon, hope for some sunshine. We're still cold at 33. A brief climb Tuesday, then we're back at it with those cold temperatures still around Wednesday and Thursday.